I was recently fortunate to be able to run, to go for a run uh, with a couple of the, the best runners from the country. And what you can really learn from the professionals, the ones that are in the very high level comparing to amateurs, in this case myself in running especially, um, is interesting. And one of the big things that I realized that when they go fast, they go really fast, which is kind of obvious thing. But the other thing that is that when they go slow, they go really slow. And that's something that kind of struck me that I, that I was able to keep up with their pace for about a couple hours. But, you know, when they went fast, I kind of lost them, obviously. But, you know, that's the, that's the thing that we can also um, apply to our businesses and our daily lives to, 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 to go fast when it's needed. But then when you have to go slow, go really slow or not to go at all. Because um, a lot of people are in this middle gear. A lot of people, a lot of us, we sort of hang around in the, the average zone, if you will, which is the which is the gray zone. You're not really on, you're not really off, you don't really go fast, you don't really go slow. So that's what I learned from from you know being able to run with a couple of these guys that you know make your strongs strongs stronger, make your fasts faster and your slows slower or in some case not at all. But um but it's really interesting when you put yourself into a position and into a space and an environment where you really can observe how the best do what they do and, and why they are at those positions where they are. So um, I, think, I think that's a really interesting. Interesting insight, at least for me, was to, to go fast when you really need to go fast and then go slow or not to go at all. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. Um, and put yourself in the position and in the space where you can really observe and learn from the best. Have a fantastic day.